Hello, well, day two of Corona videos. Let's see how we get on. This is going to be the uh, warm up for the evening classes. Also, a little bit like a warm up for the off the classes, but with the extra bits we do in the evenings. So, let's see how we get on. Hope you'll get nice and warm by the end of it. We'll start off feet shoulder width, settling into your hips. And then from there, bring your hands, rolling the wrists. Nice and loose. Keep your shoulders loose. Well, I hope you're all enjoying isolation. Not getting too stir crazy yet. Change direction. And then from there, side to side. And I'll try and keep my feet in shot this time, as much as possible. I think they are at the moment, hopefully. Change direction. Stay sunk into your hips. Back of the neck lifted up. Pushing down. And then bring your hands up to your chest. Stretch out forwards, sitting into your hips. One. And down, and again, lift up. Sit into your hips, stretch out forwards, two. <sighs> One more time. And down. And then breathe in, stretch up. Breathe out to one side. And up again. Out to the other side. And up again. And then settle down, fingers on collarbones, circling the elbows. Just get a nice rolling movement, loosen the shoulders. Change direction. One arm at a time. And reverse. And relax. And then stay sunk into your hips. Arms about chest height. And then two shorts. Opening the shoulders. Too long. Opening a bit more. One up, one down. And change. And again. Two shorts. Too long. One up, one down. And change. One more time. Shorts. Long. One up, one down. About the waist, just be aware of what your knees are up to so you're not twisting the knees like that. Keep them open. Okay, and relax. And then from there, let your body turn that one arm five so that nice and loose. Change direction. Change arms. Change direction. arms together so I'm going down one coming up and then don't think about it just keep it going if you've got the hang of it keep the body turning as well and then change direction Make a fist with one hand, change every time my hands cross.
Change direction. And relax. Set back down into your hips. Keep back of neck lifted up. Shoulders, chest relaxed. And then turning. So let the arms hang loose. And again, be aware of what your knees are up to. If your knees are twisting inwards, um, be aware of that so you can keep them open. And let the hands go up over your shoulders. Down again. Turn your head the opposite way to your body. And then let your head turn with your body again. So loosen the lower back, shoulders relax still. And change direction. Okay. And now I'm onto the knees, so Take one foot back, so your front knee goes up. And it's all about getting the circulation going around the knees. And then patting. And then very small circle, keep the head relaxed. Change direction. And change legs. And so again, give a new good rub first. Get really down deep into all the ligaments. And again, circling, keeping the hip relaxed. Change direction. From there, a second the exercise. Light fist with your hands, bring them into your hips. Bend the knees and keep them bent. One foot reaches out. Put his arm extends and settle into your hip. Weight slightly back. Shoulders still relaxed. Slightly off the floor if you want it to be. And change again. Last one, as low or as high as you like with your front leg now. That's good. 
slowly change. Slowly come back. <sighs> Wasn't that fun? Yeah. Right. And then from there, what do I now? Ankles. So, hands on your hips or just hang it loose. And then circling, let your foot almost touch the floor as your heel goes round. So you're really stretching the Achilles tendon. But nice and loose, nice and easy. Direction. And then three circles, as big or as small as you want to make. So one, two, three, back, give away. One, two, three, and then change. So again, lift up your heel, circling, heel no one, almost touching the floor as you go around. And then lifting up, toes always stuck to the floor. Change direction. I'm digging a hole in the moss. And then from there, uh, three big circles, as big as you want to make them again. So one. Two, three, back the other way. One, two, three. Shake loose. Okay, stretching now. So as usual, go to your own ability. So as far as you want to go, and then turn whichever direction. So now body upright. Make sure your knee doesn't go out past your toes. Ideally, it stays above your ankle. Back leg, nice and long, and your hip. Just turn it so you're stretching down. Body up right, just let your body sink, hands any way you like. And then change. So again, same again. So stretch here by turning your body. Again. This time turn your back foot so the heels off the floor so you should feel the stretch down here. Change again, same as the last one. Arm on the same side as your front leg, pushing back, other hand pushing forwards. Turn to look at the hand behind. And then change again. So again, arm on the same side as your back leg, it's going forwards, other leg pushing back. Face front. As wide as you want to go, take weight to one side and either resting your arm on your leg so you're just opening out your hip, or if you want to stretch out your arms, settle into your hip at the same time. Slow. 
slowly turn your sides. Swing through. And back. The other side. Two. Three. And four. And one arm up, one arm down. So again, open, then one. And back. Two. And three. And four. And then sweep the lotus so out to the side. So again. Tornado kick, going across. Two, three, and four. And back. And well done. That's the end of a warm up. Hopefully, you're nice and warm now. Now, pick another video, follow that one for a bit. See you soon.